Among CNS, Universal Health Coverage or UHC is critical for health security. Countries require a strong primary health care platform as the backbone of universal health coverage, in the absence of which we risk losing the gains made in our fight to control HIV AIDS, tuberculosis, malaria and other diseases. While we cannot afford not to strengthen UHC, we also need to scale up research and development of better tools to prevent infections such as HIV. We not only need new HIV prevention tools, but we also need more choices, especially for those who are at heightened risk of HIV, such as girls and women. Today on UHC Day, I would like to share the voices of some women leaders whom I had met at the HIV Research for Prevention or HIV R for P International Conference in Madrid, Spain in October 2018. I think that the single most important action that can be taken right now to curb the, the, the HIV epidemic is to ensure that choices will be available to all persons who are at risk at HIV or don't even know that they are at risk. And that is all kinds of options and options that may differ at different times of their lives. So a vaccine, we all hope for a vaccine. But before we can find a vaccine, there are other ways that potentially we could use. And, 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 and a daily pill isn't feasible or desirable for everyone. So we want to have all options on the table. And how do we make them accessible? Well, first we have to ensure that research continues on all avenues and that there is support and commitment to all areas of research. In order to end HIV, by 2020, we must follow up the UNAIDS approach of test and treat policy. Uh, the test and treat policy is about 1990-90, following the 1990-90 goals. In the 90, in the first 90, that is where we recommend people who are in key population areas, like in my country, the fishermen, the men who have sex with fair men. So we recommend population a go for HIV test. And in the second 90, that's when we recommend them that if you test and you found HIV positive, we recommend you to start treatment immediately. And this helps you not to transfer the HIV when you are on treatment. Third 90, that's when we recommend people who are already on treatment to, follow, to be monitored well so that the HIV virus is suppressed. I think we need to sensitize the public, the people in key population areas. We need to sensitize them more on how to go for HIV testing because when they go in for testing, they will be able to get more information about how they can be able to take these drugs, how can they can be able to care about themselves. And this will help us so that they don't transfer the HIV disease. Thank you. I believe of all the HIV interventions that you know have been tested and proven to work so far, I think art remains the most preferable and the you know number one when it comes to feasibility. So I think for for us, um, you know, as world or as countries, now that you know we experts are advocating for. Um, for treatment as prevention, it will be good for, for for people, you know, to join hands for governments, for non-governmental organizations, you know, for the media, for all of us to ensure that everyone who's HIV positive has access to um, to treatment because you know statistics, recent statistics show that uh, 13 million of HIV infected people in the whole world still cannot access art. So I believe as an individual, if we could cover that gap, at least we are sure that um, if these people adhere to the, to the medication, it then reduces their risk of transmitting the disease to the next person. I think in that way, we'll be able to um, you know, to, to, to lessen our risk of, of, you know, of getting new infections with each passing year, which in a way will help us to, to keep the disease. Because, you know, all these other intervention, um, interventions that are still being tested, you know, they, 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 are, they are proving to be a challenge, like PrEP, you know, 
many people are still you know they are still not sure about prep and you know with condom use condom use some people still don't want to use condoms but i think art for us you know it is now the solution so we should all ensure that everyone who's um who's hiv positive has access to art and then in that way we won't spread the disease and we'll be able to cap the disease thank you what actually we need to do we have very good uh, prevention strategies which one of them is PrEP. What we need to do is to create awareness about the PrEP. It has been proven to work 95% if used effectively. So what we need to do as a country globally in Africa is to create awareness about this HIV PrEP tool that has been proven to work. Also when it comes to women, there's also the aspect of the vaginal ring. Women for long have been left out. So when we talk about women and we bring in the issue of vaginal ring, I think women will be protected. They will be covered. What I think should be done uh, for the world to deal with the HIV and AIDS pandemic is that we need to take responsibility as countries. Uh, where I come from, uh, countries rely on donor money and uh, that is inherently. The countries should start of funding HIV prevention strategies on their own. You know, there is the PrEP in, uh, in uh, HIV prevention intervention. In my country, it hasn't been rolled out. Such interventions, they need to be grabbed with two hands, especially for key populations. And in my country, we haven't rolled out well, but, but we still have high incidences of HIV in key populations. So countries should take responsibility of HIV funding at local level while still uh, receiving uh, donor money to fund other uh, bigger projects. So I think for us to get there, the, those with a high burden of HIV, it's high time they start taking responsibility of this problem. What I've learned from this conference regarding prevention is how the governments are going to have to make tough decisions when it comes to prevention because the country I come from is resource constrained. So they will not go into researching about the vaccine, yet we have more people who are falling sick. Many scientists are doing very important things across the fields of vaccines, microbicides, vaginal rings, um, community preparedness, you, you may name it, it's all represented at the conference. But an area that I think needs much more attention is simple awareness of these new products. And that's where journalists can play a bigger role and must play a bigger role. I have been at sessions where I hear that people have not heard of PrEP. I've been at sessions where people do not know that there's such a thing as the possibility of a vaginal ring which also offers contraception. And those are fantastic technologies that scientists are developing. But in the communities where HIV is a problem, people don't, don't know about it. So I think the most important thing that now needs to come into the equation is much more awareness raising.